recording, we're going to work on this character and uh, fix it so uh, Mixamo uh, knows how to uh, read it. Uh, probably see some of the weird things going on. Uh, basically, the normals are reading in a weird way that we're actually seeing through it. Uh, and one of the, the main issues we first had was the UV mapping, uh, which has been cleaned up. But uh, before, we had seven, six or seven different uh, layouts here. So now we've combined them now. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to go to UV editor and you can see everything has been added uh, to one and I think this is probably 1024 or even double that. Uh, so now we have it uh, correct. I think it's pretty easy to relay it out to just take it in Photoshop and lay that out. Um, so one of the things I, I want to go back into uh, Photoshop and this is saved as a PNG. And the only reason we have it saved as a PNG is because of this little area right here. I'm not sure if that's reading as alpha, uh, but what we're gonna do is just go ahead and pop that underneath. Since that is an alpha, and we know basically that this is a skin tone, and I'm just gonna fake it. We could probably, uh, Probably flesh this out so it's all just one color, but I'm guessing this is the eyebrow right here. So I'm just going to do a really quick color pick of that, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my space bar and move on down to uh, this area right here and see if I can use uh, the the pink it, uh, the pink it, the bucket, and just dump that in there. Okay. Uh, I know you're doing an alpha channel, but uh, that's giving uh, issues. Uh, and uh, Photoshop and so forth. So I just dumped basically that color. You could probably spray that up uh, so it's all one tonal color so it doesn't look weird. This may look weird once you apply that. All right, so I'm not going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. That's a lot of the issues right there. Um, it may be able to make Tomo be able to handle uh, at alpha, but let's just go ahead and just do it this way. So we're going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG. And texture. Did not see that uh, title, so I'm just going to call it uh, a underscore lady underscore texture. All right, and this is, you'll see this will help it out big time. So now we're going to go back to uh, Maya. So now we're just going to apply a whole new material. Go to rendering, texturing, lighting, shading, assign new material. And we're going to go ahead and put a Lambert on there. We don't need anything shiny. And we're going to go to file, folder, and desktop. I think it's called a lady underscore texture. You can see that. Let's see how horrible this is. All right, so we go up here. All right, so it's kind of hard to see. You can see uh, the, the red and uh, kind of the look here is kind of a little off beige there. So if you get really up close, you can see it, but from far, I'm not too worried about it. So one of the things we want to is uh, soften it up. So if we select it, so now you can see we can't see through it. And so we hit three, uh, we kind of want to smooth it. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and select, uh, go to modeling. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, or Mesh Display, and we're going to Soften Edge. That should be able to soften it, so when we bring it into uh, Unity, it should look nice and smooth. So let's go ahead, rinse and repeat, let's export this out. Export, uh, export all, go to a dialog box, uh, export all, make sure it's FBX. Okay, make sure it's FBX, not OBJ. I'm going to call this uh, A underscore lady. And make sure it goes to my desktop. Export all. Oop. Did, uh, yes, uh, there was one there before. I just did a test and it uh, override it. And I'm sorry, you're supposed to do, uh, before that, you're supposed to make sure check on materials were on, which it is. Uh, just double check that before you hit export all. All right, so we're going to go on to the next phase. We're going to go into uh, Mixamo, so you can just log in. You should have a creative 
uh, account uh, with your Adobe Creative uh, account here. And what we're going to do is go to uh, Create uh, Auto Rigger. And give me a second. Rig your own character. It takes me a while to read. Uh, now we're going to go upload. Now there are some default things to refuse that you can use your own character. But again, this is your own game, so we want your own character. Uh, desktop underscore a lady FBX. Open it up, and before it would come in uh, completely uh, black silhouette. And I don't know if that was related to PNG or what the heck that was. Uh, so now we're we're good to go. We can uh, don't want to do that. Uh, I was just kind of looking to see if we could zoom in just to see if it looks like it's doing a, a smooth face with when I relaxed it. Uh, it looks like it's doing pretty well. So now we're going to just go ahead and actually see see how smooth the face is. So doing that relaxing really helps. So we're going to do a chin, uh, wrist, uh, elbows, and take your time with this. I'm going really quickly. Uh, knees and the groin. All right. And we hit next. All right, now what we're going to do is try to bake out a, a walk cycle. I don't think she runs in your game since I'm not 100%, so we're going to try to do a walk and maybe. Uh, great, it crashed. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. I'm not sure why it just crashed. Maybe I should have deleted history on that. Uh, Try it again, see if it works. Uh, hopefully it does. And see, it's totally just crashing out. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna stop it here. Hopefully it works. I will uh, do develop another tutorial based on where this stopped off. All right, good luck.